Hi everyone! Today, we are going to answer some questions that goes into our DM in social media. Let's start! So question number one. Does the school require children to already know letters and numbers for early years admission? Well, early years admissions in Binus School Bekasi, we do not require a child to recognize letters and numbers. Our admission observations in early years are focusing on the social and emotional aspects of the child. Furthermore, we also observe the communication and motor development of the child. Does the school allow earlier students to use diapers during their first days of school? In our admission form, we stated that we expect the child to be toilet trained by the time the child starts the school. Let's go to the third question. Are all lessons in EY conducted fully in English? And are there any homework assignments in EY? Okay, so we have subject groups in early years. Subject groups under the international curriculum will be taught in English and subject groups under the national curriculum will be delivered in Bahasa Indonesia. So the answer is no, not all subjects are taught and delivered in English. Homework? No, we do not have homework in early years. Let's go to the fourth question. How does the school support students who cannot speak English fluently since English is not their first language? Well, in Binus School Bekasi, we have two teachers in early years classroom. Uh, the classroom teacher will deliver or uh, give instructions in English while the co-teacher will use Bahasa Indonesia. So the class will be bilingual. Furthermore, we also have resources such as books, um, posters, uh, videos, uh, audio files that can um, teach students to understand both English and Bahasa Indonesia. These resources will help students gradually build their English proficiency and um, reinforce learning both in English and Bahasa Indonesia. Okay, now let's go to the fifth question. How do teachers communicate with parents? Will parents receive information every day about the activities their children participate at school? Well, in Binu School Bekasi, we have numerous ways to communicate with parents. Every week, we send out weekly newsletter. In weekly newsletter, we include the upcoming events, the learning objectives that are taught on that week, and also the learning objectives that the students will learn next week. We also include the resources that they need to bring, and also we invite involvement of parents if they want to participate or support students learning in uh, one of the topics or one of the projects. Okay, now let's go to the last question. How does the school ensure that EY students feel happy to go to school every day, considering they spend three to four hours at school every day, Monday to Friday? In Binus School Bekasi, our philosophy for early years is to create a vibrant and nurturing learning environment. We believe when every children love learning, they are more likely to succeed and develop lifelong passion for education. Our approach is guided by these principles. First, child-centered learning. We put every child at the heart of what we do with their unique needs, unique ability. Play-based learning. Play is a vital component in early years. Play is the medium for children to communicate, to interact, to foster creativity, 
and to improve their social skills. I hope my answers will help you understand early years program in Binu School Bekasi. I'll see you in Binu School Bekasi. Bye-bye!